<coughs> Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? It was okay. Okay, and but it was great. Great. Excellent there. Ready? Yes. Yes. That's good, good. And how, how was your, your home office? Oh, you went to work today? Uh, no, I, I, I can't go. I couldn't go. You can't well, go? I, I, I have a meeting with, my, with the office, but just for uh, an hour. Okay. But it's near your house? Yes, in my house. Ah, okay. So that's fine. Okay, no much problem. Yeah. Okay, good. Too much with the with the assembly and the other people. Yeah, they have a big issue in the government now, right? The big, yes, we know. Big, they have a big fight. We'll see what happens. Yes. Okay. By Friday or Saturday, you know, we will know more or less what's what our future will be, right? Uh, maybe on Saturday. It yes. Depends on the politics. Yes, on the politicians. What they what they decide, right? Yeah. So I hope they they do the best for everybody, right? Yes. That thing had to. They had to find a balance. Okay, they had to find a balance. And but but it's a little bit difficult with the 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 president and the the politicians because they have a different point of view. Exactly. of the situation. Mm -hmm. Yes, they, they need an expert, you know, to, to help them yes. to negotiate. The, right? the expert about the uh, health. Uh -huh. And negotiations too, you know, how to negotiate. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. that's uh yes, because they need to have uh, people who know about health, protocols, mm -hmm. uh, about, uh, I don't know, economy, right? Mm -hmm. How are we going to, to reactivate our economy and to recover. Not only to reactivate, I think is kind of easy, right? Because you know mm -hmm. we just start working, but to recover the what we have lost, so that's going to be another issue. And then but it's a matter of time, right? It's a matter of time, mm -hmm. and be patient and and think about everybody. Think about others who have more problems. You know, so in some cases, uh, we have a a blessing right because we have a job we have the opportunities but there are some other people that don't have anything so then yeah. that's, that's the point that's it's a, big, it's a big problem mm -hmm. that's a big problem and, and that problem is not going to to be solved in, in, in a, in a, few, in a mm -hmm. few years it's gonna take a long time right but we have to yeah. we have to work hard for that okay good Thank you, Diego, for the conversation. Their, nice. their behavior, behavior is Sorry? like behavior, comportamento. Uh -huh. Yeah, they hurt. Huh? What happened? Uh, their behavior is like like a kids, like like kids. Kids, ah, like, like kids, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because and, they, they they are fighting for the toy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Everyone, everybody wants to play with the same toy, right? And the toy is the people, it's us. But, right? but at the end, the best thing that we have to do is take care of the of of ourselves and our family. Exactly, right? Remember that they say that the French people, the people in France during the during the World Wars, they said, okay, we have to defend this everybody has to defend each the square meter. You defend your square meter, I defend my square meter. So like you said, right? You defend yourself and your family. Okay, everybody has to do the same, protect you and protect your family. Okay, and then if you can give an extra help, then you do it, right? So that's the, the, best, the best solution is that, right? To be together. But, you know, for, for politicians that have other interests, that's more difficult, right? Sometimes they have, they want to, they have to, to get some benefits. Yeah. Okay? So that's the, and that is the problem. Okay. Then everybody wants a piece of the cake. Okay. And the cake is the people. 
<laughs> the cake is the, yeah. the workers, right? So that's the problem. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. the, the cake is, is money too. Yes, exactly. But yeah. we, we generate money. <laughs> we are the ones who move, we move economy. We, when we work, we generate more and more money. Okay, we don't work, so that we don't generate that, uh, that money. Yeah. Then that's why they have to take, they, they should be thinking about us and not us thinking about what they are going to do. Okay, because, you know, the important thing here is, you know, the people who work. Yeah. But uh, like you said, right, they are like, right now like kids. Let's see, let's hope that they mature in three days. <laughs> Okay, they, they get mature enough in three days to, to find a good solution. Yeah. Okay. All right, very good. Okay, today we have uh, issues, right? Where well, we, well, we were to talk about something related to what? Do you remember? Uh, I don't know if it's about the direct, direct and indirect questions. Exactly, uh, that's correct. Right, so that's what we have for today. Yes. Let me see here. Yes, we had the indirect questions. Yeah. <clears throat> this is the... And remember that our goal is to change these direct questions into indirect questions. And you're going to follow this formula that I gave you. So how much do taxes cost? You're going to use the you know, or could you tell me, can you tell me, and then follow this formula. Okay. So that was the that was the reminder of what we are supposed to do today, right? I mean, just um, let me see. Okay, and then we have in the next topic. Let me see this, because today we have the practice. But, um, okay. And yeah, this is the third one, the last check. Okay, good. Okay, so that was, that was the issue, right? To talk about the embedded questions or indirect questions. And then we're going to uh, practice, for example, the nouns. What else? There were three things, right? Nouns, they no, had, count. What? no count, and count. No count nouns. Mm -hmm. What was the other one? Count. Uh -huh. There was a group of words. Uh -huh. It was the, the indirect questions, the count and non count nouns, and what else? Light questions. No, there was another group of, what was your topic? We saw three topics. Yesterday. Uh -huh. Keep here. WH? WH is uh, the WH question is the uh, let's say the indirect question, right? How, how often, why? Question of quantity. Quantity, right? Using the yeah. uh, words okay. of quantity such as a great, is, a radio, some, any, there is, there are, okay? So enough. these are enough, okay? So this is the vocabulary that we need to, to okay. use today, right? So then, yeah. uh, we're going to start, you know, asking questions, okay? For example, who has a question to ask to the class? Me. Okay, Diego, go ahead. Okay, let me see. Which is the best restaurant? Okay, which is the best restaurant? How can we, that's the direct question, right? Yeah. How can we turn that into a, let's say, a indirect question? Do you know mm -hmm. which which the best restaurant is? 
Okay, do you know which the best restaurant is? That could be the one. Yeah. How does yeah. it sound? It, it wouldn't be better if you say, for example, uh, which is when you have, for example, the two choices. Mm -hmm. Okay. When, when do you use what and when do you use which? Do you remember? What is when you have only one option and when which is when you have more than one option. Okay. Well, the which, yes. But when you say what? Which, 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 when, when you, which you, you can compare. Uh-huh. Okay. You can compare. You can, you can get an option. Okay. So, for example, when you say what, what's the best, uh, let's say, for example, what is like when you have, what is the most difficult language? Okay. Or what are the most difficult languages to learn? Mm -hmm. uh, we can say, I don't know, Chinese and what else? German. German, for example. And German, right. Chinese and German. Okay. Which, do you know which one? Okay, do you know which of these two languages, which one is the most difficult? Can you tell me which one is or which language is the most difficult? Chinese. Okay. Uh -huh. Chinese, okay. So you see the structuring, when you say which, then you need to have a, a reference before. Yeah. That's why if you ask a polite question using do you know it's going to be like sound sounds weird we say uh do you uh, do you know which the best restaurant is yeah 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 okay it's better if you say okay i have two options i have i don't know a uh, palacios restaurant and montañas restaurant okay just to give you two names okay uh, not to make propaganda right now okay, which one okay, which one okay. which one is the best Okay, do, then the question is, do you know which of these two restaurants that I mentioned is the best? Okay, which one is it? The, the Montañas restaurant, okay? So in that case is when you use which, all right? So then you see, for example, which in this case is probably when you are inside a conversation using that, and then you can, you will need a, a some, uh, reference before you use it okay thank you Diego for the question I think that that helped you to explain the this okay. okay another question okay you can ask the direct or indirect question no problem another volunteer Me? I have I know okay Fernando and then Mariela okay no, okay, okay. ladies first okay ladies first good thank okay, you okay thanks Mariela okay. <laughs> thanks uh, where should they spend time? Where? Where should they spend time? Okay, listen to that question. Where should they spend time? How can we turn this into a, let's say, a, a indirect question? Yep. Anybody? Suppose this, then you put this in a context. Where should they spend time? There are some people coming from from Italy to El Salvador. Exactly. Where, where should they spend time? Here Do you place. know uh -huh. where should the best time? Where should they? Where should, no, uh -huh. where should they? That's the question. No, that's the question. Do you know where? Do you know where? Okay. Should they uh, the best? Okay. I don't listen. Uh, okay. The question again. Okay. Listen. Where should they spend time? Where should they spend time? Okay. Uh, do you know? They should spend where spend the most time. 
Ay, ay, ay. <risa> <risa> okay, that, I suppose I, that, I, uh, I, my I idea like is I... Uh, you have the idea. You know? uh -huh, yeah. No, but it's okay. I like the I, I, I because you know there is something there. That, <laughs> yes, I like that. I like that. Okay. Okay, who can help? Let's help Anna. Uh, Maria. I don't know if it's okay, but do you know where should they spend time? More or less, getting closer. Where they should spend time? Uh, where they should. Remember that we invert, right? Do you know where they should spend time? Uh -huh. Do you know where? Exactly. No, it's okay. What you said first, third, okay? Uh, yeah, Do you yeah, know yeah. where yeah. they should spend and, time? Sorry, can you repeat it, please? Sure. Do you know? That's the question, right? That Anna said. Yeah. Where they should spend time? Okay. Okay. Then the 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 second part, the second the question that Mariela asked. Okay. Okay, you know, I have some friends coming from Italy, okay? Where should they spend time here in El Salvador? And then you say, okay, hey, I have some friends coming from Italy. Do you know where, okay, they should spend time here in El Salvador? And then you have a complete idea, okay? Good, now let's try with another one. Okay, another volunteer, who wants to share? I see Nidive smiling, okay, you're ready. <laughs> Okay, I have indirect question. Could you tell me when quarantine finished in El Salvador? Okay, this is an indirect question already. Could you tell me oh. when the quarantine hey, listen, finishes in El Salvador? Okay, good question. I don't know anything. <laughs> we, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. Okay. Nobody you, knows. Nobody, nobody knows. I think apparently or partly this uh, this next Monday, but then gradually it will disappear like in three months. Okay. So then I think that we have to wait. Maybe on December. Can you repeat? I think it's gonna be in December. <laughs> The next year, before Christmas. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, who, Mariela? Mariela, you asked me to repeat something. Sorry, can you repeat, please? Which one? The one that Nini said? Will you tell me? And I don't know what is. The... Where the quarantine finished? Uh, uh, yes, uh, Nini asked, could you tell me when the quarantine finishes in El Salvador? It's okay. Okay, mm -hmm. thanks. Mm -hmm. All right. Because you know the indirect question is, when does the quarantine finish in El Salvador? That's the direct question, right? Mm -hmm. Now, can anybody here, can anybody here, can anybody in this group tell me when the quarantine is over, finishes in El Salvador? Okay, you see there are different ways to, to use it, right? This is the can can anybody tell me more? Let's say more. Uh, let's less. Less polite, okay? It's more familiar, right? Uh, informal. The one that Ninive asked is more more formal. Okay, could you tell me? Then you can even say, okay, could you please tell me? Okay, could you please tell me when the quarantine finishes in El Salvador? Okay, yes. This kind of, this kind of question is very common in England. No, the, no, no, in the like United States too. Yes, the United States. Okay. Yes. Well, especially uh, remember that uh, in English they don't have uh, like in the Spanish we use usted we use vos or mm -hmm. tú right mm -hmm. and uh, when we use this uh, this way to refer to other people then this is how you show some respect if I say for example Diego me puede dar eh, la hora okay so then I am showing some what some uh, respect in some probably formal English, right? Mm -hmm. Spanish, Spanish. But in English, you can say, hey, Diego, what time is it? Tell me, that, Diego, que hora son? Right, mm -hmm. sounds more informal, right? But if I say, uh, Mr. Sosa, uh, could you tell me what time? Could you tell me what time it is? Okay, in that case, you know, you know that I'm saying Mr. Sosa is usted, right? So then this is how you show some formality in English too. Right, okay. because they, because they don't have the other form. Okay, but then uh, yeah, that's why it's no, it's not it's not British, no, American. It's just formality. Okay, okay. and also sounds more 
sounds more a, when you have a job interview, okay, in, the, in your cases, if you have a job interview, that helps more because it is, um, let's say, uh, if, you, if, you use, uh, if you use this kind of structures, then the person who is interviewing also knows that you have a level of English more academic, right? Okay. Okay. No, it's not like a, hey, you, you know, I, uh, you know, I uh, did this and did this, you know, you know. I mean, you can use it with friends, right? But not in a, in a formal interview. All right. Okay. okay. Any other question? Me, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead, Ada. Um, do you know when is the exam? Do you know when? Is the exam? Switch it. Do you know when when the exam is exactly Very okay good. okay that's it okay because that that's the indirect question and the direct question is when is the exam ah okay okay and then when you use the indirect question say do you know when the exam is yes. okay can you, can you tell me when the exam is okay. Okay, would, okay teacher. Uh -huh. Another one could you be, would you be so kind and tell me when the exam is? Okay. Mm. But, all right. Okay. Anybody, uh, oh, Fernando, you had a question before and then you never said it. I forgot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know when the Champions League returns? All right, good question. Do you know, that's, that's the perfect question, Fernando. Come on, good. <laughs> Let's talk about soccer. No, it's okay. Okay, when do you know when the champ, uh, the world champ, no, the, the Champions League? You see, I, I already forgot that even the name, you know, three months after. Okay, do you know when the Champions League returns? Okay, this is the indirect question. The direct question is, where does the, the Champions League return? Okay, that would be the direct question. Good, good, good. Uh, I think it's in next month, right? No, in this month. No, no, it's, no it's September. It's September, right? Yeah, August. September. August. Uh -huh. Yes, it's true. No, I think this the Spanish, the Spanish, uh, Spanish league is this is this weekend, right? The Spanish and 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 the Premier League. The Premier League, right? So those two leagues return this weekend. Okay, good. This On, Saturday. Another, this Saturday. Another question. Another question, another question? Anybody can ask. Hello. Practice, practice. Um, okay, Javier. You know, you know when will the vaccine, will the vaccine be ready? Do you know when the, uh -huh, the coronavirus, the, uh, the coronavirus, Vaccine. Uh -huh. Ready. Will be ready. Okay. Okay, good. That's a good question. They say that probably in one year. Okay. The question is uh, Javier is asking, do you know when the COVID 19, okay, the COVID 19 uh, vaccine will be ready? Okay. This is asking something about the, the future, too, right? Or when is it going to be ready? Does anybody know? Maybe they have, uh -huh. they have the cure, but they are waiting for most deaths. Yeah, more people to die and then it's going to be more expensive. Yes, yeah. I, I heard that it was going to take like one year or, or something, right? Probably in May next year, April, May next year, maybe. Okay, they will have it ready. Okay, good. Another question. Thank you, Javier. Hi. Teacher. Yes. When was the last night till you left home? What? When was the last time you left home? Okay. <laughs> when was the last time? Okay, when was the last time you left? Home. Okay, good. 
Yeah. Now yeah, then, yeah. the question, uh, the, that is the direct question, right? So can you tell me when, you say, when was the last time you left home? Uh, I think it was last, uh, last Friday. Last Friday. No, 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 on Sunday. On Sunday, according to my ID, I was able to go out on, on Sunday. So, and I think that this week is on Thursday. Okay. Hey, teacher. Yes. Me, hey, teacher. Okay, Laura, go ahead. Yes. Could you tell me where I should buy computer online in El Salvador? All right. Well, I don't know exactly, but probably Valdez, maybe. Does anybody know? Can anybody help Laura? Sirman.com. Sirman.com. They are closed. They are closed now. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, many. Yes, it's true. No, Laura, it's true. No, there, are no there are no places because they, well, you, you can buy it now, but they will send it after the, the pandemic is over. So then it's going to take like forever. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> so you, you better wait, save your money, okay, and then okay, wait, wait until you can go out. Okay, good. <laughs> Anybody else? Come on, practice. Remember, this is to talk, okay? Don't, don't worry if it is easy, difficult, just let it go. Uh, good evening. Uh, okay, Marco. Teacher, teacher, okay. excuse me. I am, I am. Well, uh-huh. One question. Yes. When was the last time you ate pupusa? When was the last time? Yeah. Okay, the last time. Okay. Hey, it was. Oof. You ate pupusa. pupusa. You, I, I ordered pupusa. I don't remember. I think about, it was about a month. No, before, before, when, when was the last, about two weeks, about two weeks ago? Because la, uh, last weekend I wanted to eat pupusa, but they told me that the delivery guy was not here because of the rain. And then he could fall, he could have an accident. So it was about two weeks ago. Okay, what's your name? What's your, who's asking the question? Because I, I see another name in that. It says self, Selfa. Hermana Selfa. Hermana Selfa, maybe, yeah. maybe yeah. his mother. Yes, uh -huh, but it's not his name. Okay, but anyways. Okay, Marco, tell me your question. Okay. Marco, okay. Um, Excuse me, my name is Israel. Israel. No problem, sorry. no problem. I just wanted to know your name. Don't worry, Israel. Good. Okay, sorry. That's okay. Marco. Okay, uh, I'm a little confused, but I will try, okay? Perfect. Uh, my question is, uh, do you know when we can travel again? Do you know? When we travel again. Okay, when we, we can travel again. When we, we can travel again. Uh -huh, or when we will be able to travel again. If you want to ask in the future, right? Yes. Let's have a question, okay? Then uh, you can ask, uh, remember that can is in present, right? But in this case, because I think that the question, who is Marco? Marco, mm -hmm. Marco, uh, is, is, the, is the same time that we were using yesterday. Because can you, can you change the question, for example, with the same meaning? Can we say, do you know when the airport opens? To when? change the idea, because I, because I, I heard it like if it's a, a different time, but I don't know if... if Future, uh, that's what I was telling him, that so now the present is can. Uh -huh. okay? But you can say for the future of can is, will be able. Okay? Uh -huh. So then, for example, you can only add, do you know when we will be able to travel again? Okay, okay, so this is something that when will we be able to do something in the future? Okay, but because you don't, you cannot say we can. Okay, mm -hmm. the future is will okay. be able or are we going to be able to travel again? Uh, I don't know, probably in one month, probably, right? Everything is okay. 
and, mm -hmm. and they have the, all the protocols in order, maybe in one month, maybe. But okay. I think it's going to be more expensive traveling. Yeah, because they they are going to have less people. Uh -huh, less people on the airplanes. And right now, is they said it's very cheap, but not there are mm -hmm. no many many airplanes or places where you can get an airplane. But after that, I think it's going to be more expensive to travel. Okay, but here, oh, but here again, Salvador, I think that in about according to the proposal, like in two months we will be able to travel uh, to do a, in, yes, a, a internal tourism, right? Thank you, Marco. Another question? Me? Okay. Uh, do you know what the government need to build more hospital is? Okay, only without is. Can you repeat it? Do you know what the government needs to build more hospital is no only with uh, up to hospitals because Hospital. you you, okay. have, because you already say needs and that's perfect you don't need okay. to use is in this question okay do you know what the government needs to build more hospitals? to build more hospital what do we need time um, time space and money okay and probably Ghana's too, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, and then, for example, the wish to do it, right? Yes, that's true. Okay, good. Another question? Me, teacher. Okay, Nelson. Do you know where is the uh, better way to go to San Miguel? Okay, do you know? Which? Do you know which one? Is the best, best, do you know? Uh huh, yes. Do you know which? Do you know which is the which uh, one? better huh? way? Which one is the better way to go to San Miguel? Okay, I don't know. Anybody? Do you know which is the best way to go to San Miguel? It depends on your, the, the things that you like. Uh -huh. Because yeah. I think it's depend, you can, depending on your, on your life. You propose it. <laughs> no, but you mean, you mean the Pan American? It depends on the, the place do you visit. For example, in San Miguel, um, that Ciudad Barrio is a good place to visit it. But, 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 you, want, but you, want to know, you want to know how to get there, right? For Panamericano or for the literal? Literal. Uh huh. Yes. I think the the literal is the place of the literal is 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 a long way. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes, the literal is a long mm -hmm. way, but it's it's a nice. Well, actually, the no. Pan -American. Pan -American, the Pan American road is also. It's not a bad. It's almost the same time. It depends if you're going to. If you want to go to Berlin, for example, it's better if you go to the Pan American, if you take the Pan American road. But if you want to go to, I don't know, probably San Agustin or this area uh, or the coast, then it's better if you take the little round. Mm -hmm. If you want to eat uh, carne de chucho, it's Pan American. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pan American yeah. Is <laughs> if you want to eat that. Dog, you know, dog's meat, right? Dog's meat. Dog's meat. <laughs> yeah, dog's Salvadorian carne de chucho. Yeah, Salvadorian carne de chucho. Good lunch. With tortillas. You know, I, 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 miss that, I miss that at the stadium, right? You know? <laughs> okay, to so have your little piece of, of chucho, chucho meat. <laughs> chucho meat. Okay, good. Anybody else? Here. Yes. Me. Okay, Israel, tell me. You like the beach? Do you like the beach? I yeah. love it. I love it. I love really? it. Yes. Very good. No, you know, uh, Israel, what you have to say is, for example, could you tell me if, okay, for example, could you tell me if you like the beach? Okay. For example, I can ask, uh, let's see, somebody, Alex. Are you there, Alex? Okay, yes. 
could you tell me if you like uh, the mountains? Alex? You hear me? Yes, yes, Hello? yes, I, I can hear you. I, I like to go to the mountain because I like the weather. Okay, good. You see, that's for example, could you tell me if you like the beach? If it's like a conditional, right? And then, uh, then you say, for example, and then, yes, I love the beach. This is indirect question, okay? And Israel, you can ask the, the short question. Direct question is, uh, do you like the beach? Okay, that's the, the practice. Okay, okay, anybody else? Who has not practiced today? Carlos, uh, Ricardo, Ligia. Okay, anybody, or anybody <laughs> else? Bol uh -huh. I heard someone who... Hi. Okay, Gladys, go ahead. Um, do you know when back to a school in San Salvador? Okay, do you know when? When back to a school. Who? School. Who? The children? Yes. The teachers? Okay. They say, do you, okay, do you know when, okay, you know when the children will go back to school okay well i don't know and i i think it probably next year okay it's more it's more complicated for children okay uh good, good question can you tell me okay the, who has children here who has children everybody no not everybody just yes. yes. okay you do. okay yes, maybe maybe would you send, would you, can you tell me if you would send your children to school in September? No, for me it's not a good idea. For me, I prefer that finish these years in school in line. In line. Online. Online. Online, online. Um, maybe we'll be more prepared for next year. Okay. Do you agree? Do you uh, can you tell me if you agree with Nineveh? The ones who are yes, parents. teacher. Uh -huh, yes. yes, teacher is for uh, security, security or for safe the children. Mm -hmm. Safety. Life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, I I agree too, right? So I think that for children, it's better if uh, if if we wait, if we wait a little bit more. No, because children, uh, they don't, I mean, once they are with the other children playing, they forget about social distance. Then uh, they don't know about that. And then especially if they are seven, eight, nine, ten years old, well, even teenagers, right? But then, can you imagine the teenagers in high school? Hey, prestame la mascarilla. <laughs> and then using, using the, the, your, the friend's, uh, you know, mask, then, uh, it's, I mean, we are like that, right? We eat, we share the food and everything. I remember in the high school. It is so. very dangerous for children. Yes, it is. Of course it is. Yeah. Okay, good. Anybody else? Another question? Okay, Laura, go ahead. Do you know how much university technology costs in El Salvador? Okay, do you know how much university technology costs in El Salvador? Yes. Well, well, it shouldn't be that expensive, but to use it, it is. Okay, very good. Then uh, we have, let me see. Yes, 40 minutes. Okay, good. Now, questions about it. Hey, teacher. Yes. Um, could you tell me when the sector construction will be able? To? To work? To work. Okay, very good. I think uh, next week, according uh, to, according to what I read, according to what I read today, is next week. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's the one of the first. Uh, isn't a phase phase one, phase uno, right? Phase one, I think is today's no in two weeks, I guess. After the fifteenth. Okay. Okay, everybody. Now we're going to. Go back to this one. 
Okay, can you see the the knowledge check? We didn't do this one, right? Okay. Okay, so this is all oh, based on the listening. Which listening? Here. Okay. Uh, Fernand, Fer, can you please read this question? Based on the listening activity from the video, answer the following questions. Could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? Do you remember that question? No. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, so where is the ATM? If it's upstairs across from the duty free shop. The first, the first one. one. First one. From the duty first one. free shop. Very good. Yes, oh. Ada, can you read the second one, Ada? Okay. Based on the listening activity from the video, ask, ask the following question. How often do yeah. how often do the buses run? Do the buses run? Okay. How I often do the buses? Yes. They uh, run every. They run every twenty, 20, minutes, 20 minutes or so. Or so. Okay. The second one. The second minutes or. Or so. so. Look at this expression. This expression you can use it in many different ways, right? They run every 20 minutes or so. Is 20 minutes or less or more? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, you can say, for example, I have studied English for uh, for six months or so. This is when you don't know the the exact quantity or amount of something, right? Then you can say six months more or six months le le less, right? It could be less time or it can be more time okay i will be in the united states for a year or so okay a year or so will be like nine months ten months one year or a little bit more okay what else okay number, number three class number three uh, let me see, Nineveh, read, read the number three. Okay. Based on the listening activity from the video answer the following question, what other information does Eric ask for? Okay. And the answer? Of a bus to the city. Yes. The third. The third. The third one. The third, the third. Yes, the third. The third one. Okay. Okay, very good. Gladys, number four. Uh, teacher, uh, no, no he escuchado el audio. Okay, then uh, just uh, read the question. Read the question, no problem. Okay. How would you transform the following sentences into an indirect question? Where's the ne leaders? Internet cafe. Yes. Uh -huh. Anybody who can help with the answer? The first, the first one. Could you the tell me one. where the nearest internet cafe is? Coffee Could you is. tell me where cafe the nearest is. internet cafe is? Right. Yeah. Remember mm -hmm. that cafe, cafe is the place, and coffee is the the beverage, right? The drink. Okay. Yes. Could you tell me where is this one? No, because it's the question is incorrect. Could you tell me where the internet cafe where is? Then this is makes no sense. Where has to be in the middle? Okay, number five. Let's I see. am number five. Where's your oh. number five? Okay, Israel. Go ahead. Okay. Reply the follow me question as an indirect equation. How late? The, the bus run. Okay. The thirds. Do you know the how late the buses run? 
Okay, rephrase. This is to the third. Oh, the third. Yeah. The following question mm -hmm. as an indirect question. How late mm -hmm. do the buses run? Um, do you know how late the buses run? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's check the answers. Okay, there you go. Okay, so here we have the possibilities of answer. Okay, now listen again, right? Listen again to the audio, the ones who haven't done it. And you already have an idea, right? How to answer your knowledge check. Okay, I think this is the end. Of, of this section. Okay, and the next one is the section three, where we are going to have a different of objective, right? But before, okay, do you have any questions, doubts? Uh, about how to form the embedded questions. I will, I will, I will send you to. I am preparing a a material to to share with you in the chat tomorrow. Okay, about the about the embedded questions, so that you can also. have some extra practice about it, okay? But uh, first I want to know if you, if you are clear or what are the doubts that you have? Don't be shy. Say it now or shut it up forever. A lot of doubts, but I think with mm -hmm. the practice we are going to to improve the, the maybe the position of the words or the changes that you have to do when you are making indirect questions. Indirect questions, right? Can you see this one? No. Yeah, lesson objective. Uh, you see the lesson objective. Okay. Wait a minute. Then you, you don't see what I am. Well, let me see. Okay, let me, because sometimes. This is what I'm going to, this is what I'm preparing for you, but let me see if I can show it to you right now. Okay, here's one. Let me see now again. Okay, yes. I think now you will be able to. You can see it now? You see the, you see the picture? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, this is what I'm going to prepare in a, in a PowerPoint presentation, okay? So that you can, uh, that you can have. Look at this one, for example. Uh, uh, Ada, can you please read this part here that says the service? Okay, the service was terrible. I wonder if we should leave a tip. Okay, continue. Mm, I'm not sure whether service is included or not. Okay. I wonder what kind of, the, of tip these guys are going to leave. Okay. So look at this one. Okay, this is the service was terrible. And this is another expression you use, I wonder. What is I wonder? I ask. Uh-huh. I ask who? Myself. Okay. Okay. okay this ask. is this is for example like when you say me pregunto, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. They say I wonder if we should leave tea. Okay, this is a, a question to ourselves sometimes, right? I wonder, this is when we are thinking, okay, I wonder 
if uh, we should go out again. Yes, yes, we will. Okay, uh, I wonder if we, uh, what, if we can, uh, if we can order some food at this time, okay? So then this is one question. The other one is, I am not sure whether service is included or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is whether, whether is similar to if. Mm, okay. okay, remember that if, if is um, a conditional, okay? Yes. Whether is when you have options, okay? For example, I don't know whether, I don't know whether to get married or stay single okay no, it's the opposite in my case <laughs> okay <laughs> then uh but you say for example i don't know whether is i don't know whether to do this or that when you have c or not okay which one okay you have options and okay. you know and the and the one that we have that yes or no right so there are different ways to say c in english right so we have if for conditions whether when we have options or choices, and yes, when we have to admit something, okay? Okay. And then you say, I wonder what kind of tip. So you see, this is another one. Now, for example, here, you can say, I am not sure if I left, if I left the right tip, whether it was enough, okay? For example, was, the question is, was the tip enough? Okay, was the tip sufficient? He said, I am not sure if there, if I left the right tip. I am not sure whether it was enough or not. Okay, okay for example, this is a, be like when, when we go out of the house, sometimes we say, hey, um, I forgot. I forgot, did I close the door? Did I lock the door? Did I lock the door? I don't remember. I'm not sure. I am not sure if I locked the door. Okay, I am not sure whether I locked the door or not. Okay, so you see this. Okay. Can you remember, okay, how much it was? Can you remember how much money you spent last night? Okay, can you remember where we ate? Okay, so these are, you know, other questions that you can ask for expressions. Do you know how much to tip? Do you know how much, how much to spend on a restaurant? Do you know where to leave the tip? Okay. So these are different ways to use indirect questions. So I will try to, if I cannot send it, uh, send it tomorrow, I will give it to you here in the class. Okay? Okay. Good. Now we're going to, okay, and listen and review the, the videos that we had so that we can continue using them, right? And every time, okay, every time that you have a, uh, the opportunity to ask me a question, uh, for example, uh, you can say, uh, teacher, tomorrow, suppose you can say, teacher, I was wondering if you could repeat uh, the meaning of this word, okay? Okay. I was wondering, mm -hmm. I was one, uh, I, I wonder if you can tell me the meaning of this word. I mean, you can tell me, okay, teacher, what's the meaning of this word? Fine, no problem. Okay, I will understand. But if you use this vocabulary during this class, then it's another chance that we have to continue practicing, okay? So in that way, we okay. keep, you keep it in mind, okay? I don't know if you have the chance to practice English during the day, but if you, if you have a chance, try to do it with your friends, with your, uh, I don't know, with your coworkers or in your family. But if you don't, try to do it here in the class, okay? All right. Okay, now we're going to introduce a little bit about the topic for tomorrow, okay? And Carlos Ramos, can you do me a favor? Can you read this objective here? Okay. 
Bill. Oh, sorry, sorry. Well, your English language scale with the lesson, with this lesson on adjective and nouns. By the end of, the, of this class, you will learn to, to express your opinion about houses or government. Additionally, you will be able to describe your house or apartment, apartment in English and use evalu evaluating, evaluating. Phrases, evaluating phrases such as apartment, are you too smart of, for pets? Houses are you expensive? Or houses cost too, too much money? Too much money, okay? So this is the important thing here, right? Adjectives and nouns, okay? Now we're going to add to the nouns that we have, adjectives. for example, adjectives, okay? okay? For example, what okay. are some um, adjectives that we could use to describe a house, okay? My house is small, it's medium size. Adjective uh, qualificative? Yes, is. adjectives, uh-huh, in English. Adjective qualificative? No, only, only adjectives. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. in, in English, right? In Spanish, yes, you can say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and there are different kinds of adjectives, right? There are adjectives, but in this case, we're gonna use in general. A house can be small, Medium size, big. big, you can use large, large, expensive, new, old, what else? Dirt. What? Dirty house. Dirty, uh -huh, dirty. Convenient. Uh, convenient because of the uh, geographical position, right? Or modern. Uh, modern, right? For example, right now there are a lot of... Uh, Residential places where you can find modern constructions, right? Not too old. What else? Comfortable. Comfortable, right? Comfortable. You know, there is a word that they call also cozy. Okay, cozy is C O C O. Let me see. I'll write it in the. Where's the chat? Here. Okay, this word cozy. Okay, cozy is in the chat. It's C O C O Z Y. It's a word that you can say that is a place that is comfortable and warm. Okay. okay. For example, what is okay. what is the coziest place in your house for you? What is that place in your house where you feel warm, warm, comfortable, nice? And My room. Your bedroom, okay, you say my bedroom is a cozy place, yes. For me, it's the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Okay, yes. Yes. Me too. Oh, yeah, cozy place, yeah, but... dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Well, it depends, yes. If I, am, if I am hungry, yes, it is very, very dangerous. Yes. <laughs> no, but you know, but the, usually it's the bedroom or sometimes the, the living room. Uh -huh. <laughs> or sometimes the bathroom because it can be a long uh, or probably a little corner a little corner in the in the garden okay so this is tomorrow we're going to the, to see vocabulary about the places in the house okay and how to describe a house and an apartment okay everybody so, okay teacher thank you very much okay, for your attention thank you, thank you. See you tomorrow at the same time. Okay. Okay. Thank Practice. You. Thank you, teacher. Good as night. Much bye bye. 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 Bye b